Welcome, 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 welcome back to uh, 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another episode of Quick Hits. Comes at you twice a day, every day, Monday through Saturday, uh, and then once a day on Sunday. Today is the Lone So on Sunday. Sorry, I've been so inconsistent. I, like I said, I've been battling some illnesses. Um, it's not COVID, thank God. Um, but we're back. Um, and so, alert, next week I'm going to be off all week. Uh, I'm going to be out of town, taking my kids to see a doctor, so I'm going to be out, out all week. Um, so this will be the last show until next week. Um, but it's a good one, though. We got some controversy, and controversy is ooh, and controversy is fun. Uh, the WBA, Gilberto Mendoza, has suspended the awful judge, Carlos Sassur, uh, has been suspended until further notice. Um, we're going to get into that, but first, like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, uh, share, like, and subscribe, share quick hits, again, we come at you twice a day, just 8, 10 minutes, keep it real quick, real brief, uh, just to keep you up to date on all the latest boxing news and, uh, rumors, uh, etc, etc, so let's get into the news, um, so, what was a great fight was ruined by one judge, um, we scored. I scored a one sixteen, one twelve. Um, everyone I talked to, pretty much for the most part, had Gonzalez winning. Uh, I've seen two people call it a, a, a draw, and then th- this one judge, Carlos Sestor, really inexperienced judge, to be scoring this type of fight, scored at one seventeen, one eleven um, for Estrada, and kind of ruined the night. Um, if you scored it even, you can get there. 115, 113, Estrada, I, I feel is a bad card, but I don't think it's unjustifiable. 117, 111 is, is one of the worst score cards, and, and um, I, I think if Ultra Mendoza has done the right thing here, and I think other commissioners and, and, and um, I'm sorry, sanctioning bodies and commissions should do this. Suspend a judge, you bring him in, you let him explain the scorecard, and he stays suspended until he can justify that scorecard. If he can't justify the scorecard, well, he stays suspended. Now, maybe that means you send him back, you work club shows, you have him shadow a good judge, things like that, and you bring him back over time. I'm not saying he can never judge again. I'm saying there's an issue, a competency issue, that needs to be resolved. Um, and like I guess I, I think Mendoza um, has done, handled this correctly. Um, and I want to read a quote from you of what he said. We will temporarily suspend Carlos Sassur uh, while the official committee evaluates his performance in the Chocolatito Estrada 2 fight. Um, we will give the judge an, the opportunity to speak about what happened. And, and this is kind of one of the really good things about technology, right? I mean, you can kind of get a camera in the vicinity of where he's sitting and you say, show me what, show me what you saw. Show me. Right? And if he can't justify giving nine rounds to Chocolatito, then, you know, we put him back. I would have, me personally, I would have him shadow judges, sit with judges, you know, have them pick their brain, show them what they're doing properly, um, and then, you know, have him after that. If he wants to continue, we could start him at the club shows and work him back up to world championship boxing. Uh, but that was egregious. That scorecard was was. Horrible, and to me, it taints a really, really, really good night of boxing. Um, and the WBA, which we have a million and one issues with, uh, the super belts, the regular belts, the regular, the interim belts, there's 15 different belts in every weight class. You got to unify the WBA belts. You know, it's a disaster, the WBA, but they got this right. And I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, this was this was the correct procedure to take. I, I, I You don't see this enough. This should be done more often. But, because there are so many bad cards. But, and, and when a, a card is unjustifiable, if you can justify a card, you know, 
115, 113 for a strata, you could probably justify. I disagree with it. I think you're wrong, but you could probably justify it. What, this is unjustifiable. You can't get to 117, 111. It's that bad. Um, so, the only other time I could think of, of judges being suspended it was by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission. That was Paul Williams versus Arison De Laura. All three judges got suspended, even the one who scored it even. That's how bad that scorecard was. Um, I, I, I think this is this will be a precedence that's used by the WBA moving forward, and I think it's a precedence that will be used by the other three major organizations, and I think that's a good thing. I really do. I, I think we, as fight fans, complain so much about bad scorecards that there's a range of acceptable scorecards, and then there's... A, 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 what falls outside of that? What falls outside of that needs to needs to come under scrutiny like this, and this is a good first step. Now, again, they did it in in the Paul Williams Laura fight in New Jersey, and it didn't get us anywhere. Maybe I'm just being overly optimistic, thinking that this is going to help us get better cards. Who knows? But this was a great fight, and I don't want to say it was wrong because it was a great night of boxing. It was a great weekend. This was a great card. Right, it was a great night of boxing. It was a great fight, best fight of the year so far. Will probably be the fight of the year. That's how good the fight was. But when you get a scorecard like that, that decides the fight. If the other two went one fifteen, one thirteen, for Estrada, I mean for Gonzalez, eh? Who cares? It didn't. It's like the CJ Ross card, where CJ Ross scored Canelo and Mayweather one fourteen, one fourteen. Right? It, it it was awful, and that's probably as bad or worse than this card. But it didn't impact the fight. Mayweather still won. Right, um, that's incredible. That card. This is this is bad, right? Like this is a bad card, and it's egregiously bad. And, and there's got to be a way to fix this. Now it looks like we're gonna get a trilogy match. I would assume there's already talks that. I'm sure it will get mandated. It will happen. Um, but this is a good first step by uh, the the WBA. I, I'm really glad of with what the WBA did here. Perfect. Kudos to them. Now fix uh, fix your have all of your super champions fight all of your regular champions and get rid of the uh, interim belt. I think really that that <laughs> that's the best course of action here. Uh, but let me know what y'all think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, number three, uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, uh, every day, Monday through Saturday. Tw two episodes a day, and one show on Sunday. Uh, but we will not be having any shows this upcoming week because I will be out of town. <laughs> So, um, keep that in mind. It's just an alert. Please share, like, and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Um, it is March 14th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Uh, from, uh, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.